Hello, everybody. Saw everything running here. All right. I think we audio is working. I just got to double check here. Saw everything. Yep, I think we got it. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Rizy Lucas. I'm the shipwrecked mage of light, and today we are once again playing Hogwarts Legacy. Now then, um, just a little heads up for this week. Uh, I think I mentioned this in my um my Star Trek Online stream last night on Twitch, but um, yeah, th there's this. We're not back to regular schedule today this week. Um, I got a lot to do, and um. Got, I've got projects to do. I've got some real life stuff I have to do, and um, well, there there isn't gonna be really there isn't really gonna be a, ske a set schedule this week, but um, yeah. So and also because this weekend I won't be doing my art my regular art stream, so on Fridays, so I won't be able to do that. But yeah, um, but let's not uh, waste any time with that. Let's um. Let's continue the adventures of our dear, of our dear, um, our dear fifth year student here in Hogwarts, Percival Vertain. Let's get right into it. And, uh, oh, um, in case you don't remember, um, I had did some special challenges and, uh, I unlocked a... a I unlocked an outfit that makes him look that made him look like uh, Robin Hood, a, a blue Robin Hood. <laughs> kind of matches everything going on here. So yeah, here we are once again in the room of requirement, and I think before we go out do anything, I'm gonna go into the um, into the uh, vivarium and um, feed our darling little. Critters. Oh, there we go. Yeah, cute little moon calf. Nice. Off off skiing. Comb the jobber no. And we feed him. <laughs> nice. Alright. These little critters are taken care of. Now let's go continue on with our journey. I think before I go outside... I think I'm gonna... <sighs> Sorry, I'm gonna change back into my normal school clothes as much as I love as much as I love this outfit. I really love this outfit, but we're gonna have to change back here. Oh wait. Alright, um There's the trim school robes. Nice. All right. Um. And this we will change to. Hmm. I think we'll change. I think we'll go with our jumper school uniform. Go with the jumper. Headwear. Hmm. Go back to the old flat cap. 
Although the bowler hat's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll go back to the flat cap. All right, there we go. I think we're good to go. All right, let us go then. Oh, we have more things to identify. Ah, so you had a bloom scarf, nice. Alright, uh, I think we'll cook up something while we're gone. Dittany or Mallow Sweet? I think we'll, yeah, we'll get some Mallow Sweet up, up and running. And we could do a Thunder Brew Potion, maybe? Let's do a Focus Potion. Alright, and we'll, we'll let those go. <laughs> hmm? Hello? Oh, we were in the astronomy tower. I keep forgetting that that the room of requirement is in the in the astronomy tower. Well, look who's up late at night. I hope you're doing your studies. <laughs> Oi, will you help me? Ah, let's go help him. We've been passing him enough. Hello, were you calling me? I was, yeah. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Mm -hmm. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff scheme. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Sounds intriguing. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Nice. Perhaps I'll overlook. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Cool. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I think I've been into this before. Hmm, cool. Uh, but we're not gonna do the treasure map thing right now. We gotta go... We gotta go meet up with Sebastian. Oh yeah, we have to go to the Quidditch pitch as well. Man, we got a lot to do tonight. And then Zenobia's gobstones. We got two more gobstones to find. Friend indeed. Oh, yeah. We should meet her with that. Luke and Braddenby. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot to do today. Uh, but first, I think we're going to go meet up with Sebastian. Lumos. Now we're... Hang on. Revelio. Ah, there it is. Lumos. Wait, so it should be down there then?
There we go. Nice. Got that taken care of. Alright, so we have to go meet with Sebastian. Yeah, time to put get up on our broom. Up, up, and away. Meet with Sebastian and Feldcroft. This is going to be a long way. Ah, Ashwinder eggs. Always use more of those. Oh, wow, there's a surplus of them here. Sweet. It's a lovely day here in Hogwarts. Air is nice and clean. Too bad there's not an eclipse here in Hogwarts. That would have been fun to see. There's the hippogriff. Hippogifts. Oh, hello. That was quite the downdraft there. got some interesting fortifications over here. Probably a lot of goblins over here. This will definitely help in the future. Off on another adventure, are we? Yes, we are. Hit a ranger with stupefy. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Dang it. Here we come. Almost there. I should dismount here. <laughs> you made it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon... Rookwood a Castle? Aura, huh? ...refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from mm. me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. Thanks. This way.
Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. All right. We've been over this boy. Hey. Shrivel pigs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure. When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Won't visit he don't for. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. I'm Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be done for her. Surely there's... Hmm. Surely there's some... must be something. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah! You sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain <clears throat> themselves any time soon. Mm. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable well, and stay out of the loyalists' way. Well, your resistance for Se your resisting Sebastian is is making things bad too. Hmm. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help. You'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. Hmm. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. Uh, brother. <laughs> I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. <laughs> oh, dear Professor Hecate, mm. she's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Hmm. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say... I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Not take away pain. That's so, That sounds like, um... That sounds like what that lady in the flashbacks was was saying that she was trying to get get rid of her her father's pains with ancient magic. Hmm, seems like a parallel here. 
I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure was futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Mm -hmm. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Sebastian, this is my potion kit, not yours. Leave my things be, Anne. Hmm. Dear Anne, Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still as foul, but you know what I mean. Hope you're feeling better, Sebastian. Hmm. Rebellion. Yes, there's nothing else here. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. Hmm. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. Always calling me my father's son. As if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Mm. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. I really like Sebastian. He like, he means Brown's well, but this is really so leading leading him down. They should getting him into trouble. Underestimated. But honestly, I think All both the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. Honestly, He's I think both Sebastian and the uncle are are partially to blame for what happens later on in the story. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. There's a dead wizard in my book. Hello. Ow, ow, ow. Whoa, hello. What the heck? What am I doing? Ah! Okay, I just messed up something with the settings here. I'm gonna screw up something with the settings. <laughs> I must have pressed something wrong here. Uh, controls. Turn controller rumble. No, that's not it. Speed tog camera relative targeting. Off. Turn that off. Yeah. I will make you. Bye-bye. You've made your last mistake. You fight about as well as a pup skin. Whoa! 
Hello. Ah! These guys are everywhere. I'm bad at doing the Prodego. Yeah, you think? Ooh, good. Got plenty of Wigan Well potions from that. Nice, 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 nice. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> this is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing huh. towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Hmm. They were trying to hide something. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could hmm. lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall mm. we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Rebellion. Oh, what do we got over here? Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. What is this? Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Rebellion! All right, let's go take a look. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. Oh. When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Rebellion. Yeah, this was in that flashback with um when the when the Hogwarts teachers. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. 
the keepers, like in Quidditch. And you found a pensive in the library. Hmm. I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, it's not I like mean, Quidditch. No, not like Quidditch. <laughs> they call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic mm -hmm. that you think Ranrock yep. is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. <laughs> oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts, Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. Wow. And if I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Hmm. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Alright, we're gonna blow it up with some good old Confringo. Confringo! Huh, a stairwell. Alright. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've Lumos. left all of this simply strewn about. It tells me they're after something bigger. Isadora's Morganox Journal, entry one of seven. It is my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be rid of their torment. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. I traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though magic wants the magic wants to heal, and I'm the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes, knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw a man leaving the camp, leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't help her to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Hmm. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Revelio. Lumos. All right. Lumos. Uh, You're not oh. going to believe this. I can see the undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange <laughs> to me anymore. Uh. I can see the undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the undercroft from here. Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. <laughs> yes, let's go. I'm tempted to hold my breath.
Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Oh, hello. Hmm, <clears throat> it's a partial map. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Hmm. Anything helpful in the notes? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course. Uh. I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Yeah. And we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. Mm, okay. I have no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. All right. All right, so we got the shadow of the estate, huh? I love how we could just portal right through there. <laughs> oh, we have a new quest. High keep, meet Natty near the Faltborough Castle. Astronomy class. Ooh, we got astronomy class. Good. Um, I think what we're going to do from here... Yeah, I think I need to go to Hogsmeade and talk to Serona again at the Three Broomsticks. Um, and then I got to do the flight test at the Quidditch pitch. Yeah, let's want to do that. The Daladian Keys in the Astronomy Tower. Ooh. That was Nelly talking about that. Huh. Do, 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 what to do, what to do. I keep... You know what? I think we'll start with the um, we'll start with the flight test. Let's go focus on that first. Ooh, sorry. To defeat the goblins. Yeah, screw the collections right now. Now, a one talent point available. Core. Increased range of Revelio. Enemy struck with Stupefy. Remain stunned for a longer period of time. Locking a spell with perfect Vertigo will send two projectiles back at the enemies. Okay, that's useful. We're definitely doing that.
Mm. All right, let's head out. Level two lock. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. Yeah, I don't think I ha there's any more gobstones over here. Oh. Adelaide? Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh, dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when mm. he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl, and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Mm. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. Mm. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Uh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. <laughs> all right. Um... Are you and your uncle close? I take it you and your uncle are close. We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls, to let me know that he's all right. Mm. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. Oh, okay. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Oh, Uncle Roland, what have you got yourself into? Poor girl. All right, time to... Let's go over to the Quidditch, Quidditch pitch. I hope Adelaide's uncle Roland is all right. Oh, wait. Very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp maybe near Brockborough, past the river. Yeah, let's focus on the Quidditch first, and then we can go, go find him. I think we can go find him later. Um, yeah. Flight test. We'll go do that first. Hey, you, Ravenclaw. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. <laughs> I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. Ooh. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am. What a Slytherin. <laughs> you're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold Ew. one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. 
I'm so looking forward to seeing you. <laughs> Smoking her. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh, I, I, I. Dang it. <laughs> Catching up again. Come on, let's do this. Woohoo! Nice. All right, we beat her stinking record. Mm. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible. But <laughs> you're going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Cope, cope, a lot of copium there. Slytherin are the are the epitome of copium. <laughs> Go drink that uh, Slytherin copium juice. <laughs> Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't <laughs> get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. Mm -hmm. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. <laughs> Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. <laughs> I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Yeah. Would be nice. There we go. <coughs> All right. Hogsmeade. I forgot. It. I didn't realize I didn't have that one before. Huh. Do, 
do, do, do, do, do. Abby Weeks. Is that is this him? Yep, this is him. Oh, you're back with something to report, I hope. Mm hmm. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain mm. turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Mm, it drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the nice. naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. Can't wait to hear more. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Nice. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Hmm. All right. <laughs> Nothing Hello, warms them. I've got spectacular news. The broom upgrade's ready. Ha, stop by the shop when you, you I literally was just there, buddy. That was quick. <laughs> Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Nice. I must tell you, Arthur Vogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumors of a broom upgrade. <laughs> Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It nice. may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. Mm -hmm. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Yeah. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Next. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. <coughs> All right. Now I just gotta go see, um, let's go see Serona. Off ah, right here. here. Glad you came. <coughs> hmm. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? Yeah. I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. <laughs> and I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Mm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed. But the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have mm. liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> yeah. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. Huh. 
Okay. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Mm -hmm. Alright. Those assignments done. Friend indeed. Um, okay, I think we're going to go find Roland Oaks then next. Time for a rescue mission. I think we're good there. Let's get going. Ah, it's all the way in the Forbidden Forest. I see where we're going. Also. Oh well, let's not deal with that right now. A lot more things to do than go try to solve them. Wait. Oh, there they are. Never seen such a look of fear in your eyes. Confront them. I, I know I'm not fearing things. No. You're going to regret that. Confront them. Thank you. Looks like the base is up there. Oh, these are cute. I didn't realize there were moles here. This be Mr. Oaks's campsite. Hmm.
you know what? I'm gonna stick around here later. <clears throat> I'll see if I can catch one of the moles later. Whatever they were. They were cute. A nippler. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. <laughs> Don't. Ah, oh, dang it. Lost it. Oh well. Those nifflers are fast. I should investigate. Rebellion. Yeah, we're not gonna deal with those guys right now. Oh, wait. Is it up here? Yeah, the way is up here. King Lord, welcome to the stream. Revenio. Currently, I'm sneaking Just up ahead. on some goblins. Sneaking, sneaking. Yeah, nice. All right. Hello. Bye bye. Whoa. -ho. <laughs> oh, that's fine. It's okay. Yeah, basically, the little recap I was helping Sebastian out. We uncovered some. Ooh. Uh, come on, bro. <laughs> Alright, Ranrock's lot agreed to meet, but I do feel a tad uneasy. They amended their request and w were angry when I asked questions. I overheard some of their plan in gobble gobbledygook. They're after my rare metal deposits that are suitable for drilling. I'm afraid of upsetting them further. They seem rather volatile, and I need this transaction to happen. Perhaps we could work out a compromise. Perhaps not. Roland Oaks. All right. Oh, Please Professor Oaks' map. Kept notes of his trades, maps. Oh. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Okay. 
Oh, more uh, pork lump juice. Right. Do they have anything in here that I could take before I head out? Oh no! Looks like they took everything. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. No, wait, not that map. The other map. <laughs> Inventory. Oh, there it is. Okay, so looks like here... I think this river is in the Forbidden Forest, I think. I know that guy. Uh, which guy? Okay, so yeah, I think... Yeah, I think we'll start off here. And then we move downstream till we reach the site. Let's go look at the map, then. Ah! Of course, there it is. Oh, yeah, me, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's me, you know, yeah. Okay, so I have to go down this direction. All right. Um, one more look at that map. Okay, I think that's the that's the ruins there. Okay. All right, I think that's where we need to go then. So it's probably going to be around here somewhere. Rollins map to follow the trail. Oh, there it is. There's the stream, so we just got to go down this direction. Are we going the right way? No, nope, we're going the wrong way. Wrong way. It's the other way. A rock formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. Uh, the crooked tree. Okay. Um, crooked tree. Remember last time I played this, like I was having a hard time finding, finding the place. The crooked tree. So we passed this, and we gotta find the crooked tree. That was the part I stumbled across last time. Hmm. Now, where is it? Ah, I suspect it's that. A crooked tree, just as the map said. Crumbling Tower shouldn't be far from here. Bye-bye, Wolf. <laughs> Alright. So then, yeah, this should be not far from here. Is it over here? I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Oh, I think that's the place up there. Revelio. Let's see, how many of these do I have to hit here? Oh, just one? 
There's no way that's the only one. I didn't think it was. I'll have to figure that out later. <laughs> and the crumbling tower. The spot on the map should be directly south of here. Directly south. Yeah, we are directly south now. <coughs> oh, we got a lot of goblins up there. Mm, lots of wolves. Do you want to play a VR chat tomorrow? Uh, yeah. I, sh I should be available tomorrow night. I'm not doing any streams tomorrow anyway. Ooh, a loyalist commander, eh? What do we have here? I don't like the looks of that encampment. Yeah. Sneak attack. Oh, somebody's in a hurry over there. Or not. They were. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Yeah, good point. Oh, yeah, we gotta use that spell. Guardia Leviosa. Mm. Yeah, right. Guardia Leviosa. I do I forgot how to do that. Oh wait, I have to use um Yeah, I think I have to use another charm to, to hold it to hold it together. Um Oh yeah, Arrest a Memento. Yeah, that's the one. Darn it. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. Too quiet after all that. Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. <laughs> now let's try to get back up there. Yeah, bruh. <laughs> Indeed. Slam a leaping loyalist commander to the ground. Ooh. Intriguing. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> I love how they just freeze like that. over there. Let's deal with the goblins over here first. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. Yeah. Indeed. Stone walls do a prison make. more goblins up there. Cup of mushroom tea, eh? Trouble's brewing and I'm without my friends. Probably bring that over here. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Oh, 
<laughs> wow. That was a close one. Rebellion. Hmm. Oh, nice little treasure chest there. Oh, concentration. Nice. Anything else up here? Nope. It looks like everything's clear. Now I can go down to the dungeon. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> what will we find in here? Revelio. I'll be right back. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Goblins, goblins, where are all, all of you? Hmm. It's punishment to us all to have that miserable human around. Ooh, really? Uh, there's a human around. You know what? I don't think we're going to sneak in. We're going to take the violent approach. Ooh, unlock. Alohomora. Alohomora. Magical smith smithing tools. Good friend. That's uh, nothing there. Yep, no way you got over that way. Rebellion. We got a lot of boys over here. A human's word is worthless. This prisoner owes us the metal we were promised. Hmm. Launch an enemy into a destructible object with Depulso. 
That would be an interesting idea. Hmm. How am I going to approach this? I don't see any explosives about. Just did get away with that. The boiler door. How to open it? With heat and pressure, I would assume. Oh, guard, garden guardian, welcome. Welcome to the stream. We are bonking a bunch of goblins to rescue a poor gentleman. Let's see what's over here. Can't say no to money. Okay, there's nothing there. Oh, there we go. Unbeatable Quidditch Gloves. Ooh. Yeah, I'll, I'll deal with those later. Alright. Explore the Goblin Outpost. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Glad they didn't see me there. I say let him rot in the cage. He'll soon regret not bringing us the metal he promised. <laughs> Bring me all a thousand right. humans to battle. I'll take them all. Run the other way when they see me. Humans do. Oh, you want to see my best? Bye-bye. What's going on right... Oh, what's going on right now? Yeah, I'm fighting... Bonking some goblins on my way to rescue a poor gentleman. Ah, 
There he is. Hello? <coughs> Mr. Oaks? Yes, I'm here. It's Mr. Mulvaney. He's so happy he's found his luck. I just experienced it. He's lost. I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boy in here. I'll talk to him. Speak to him. I need oh, okay. to find Mr. Oaks' wand. Where could it be? Yeah, let's go back to the boiler. The, that door with the boiler room. The, yeah, it was like a steam lock or something. Hmm, right. So, with the boiler... I mean, it's powered by heat and steam, which means I have to use some kind of spell on the door, maybe? Or on something up here? Ah! There's the boiler. There we go. Man, imagine wasting all that steam just just to open a door. <laughs> I mean, can't say it's not secure. I mean, I mean, but you'd have to pretty much you pretty much have to guard a uh, you would have to guard a door, uh, like a, a, a the boiler. You know, I think uh, I think on a better note i think it would be better security if you put the boiler inside the room you're trying to keep people out of one way or another we'll get what we oh my gosh there's a lot of goblins in here <laughs> lots of goblins in here all right Climb up.
missed who? Oh, that guy's still up there? Ugh, man. Oh, wow, slots are full. Okay. Alright, this wand should be over here somewhere. Rebellion. Ah, there it is. This must be Mr. Hoax's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it should be down this way. Not bad, pretty good. Yeah, I could do better than that. <laughs> you did it! I found my wand and... Wait, you're mm. a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, <laughs> you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't mm -hmm. go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Uh locked in that infernal cell for so long they forgot I was even there they overheard things if only I could reward you for what you've done blasting goblins stole every canut on me all I can say is thank you truly what did you overhear you mentioned you overheard things <sighs> sad tale really I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizard kind began Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock mm. nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind, sees us all as cruel. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ranrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. <laughs> oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious <laughs> to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. <laughs> Mr. Rokes was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have been him. The Tale of L Roland Oaks. All right. Now let's get out of here.
Which way was out? Was it this way? Um, yeah, this looks the way. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a troll over there. Look at this. I want a party to attend by myself. <laughs> oh yeah, there were some chests down here that I didn't get to. Oh darn! I forgot my chest is full. It's kind of annoying that you have to do the Merlin trials to to unlock slots for for your outfits. Glad <laughs> I was never locked up here. Revelio. Is there other chest here? Oh, there is. Okay. Oh, it's in here. Ancient magic focus. Oh, yeah, I need that. All right, I think we're done here, so we can fly away now. Woohoo! Is this a multiplayer game? I don't think you know i don't think it is it's a single player pretty sure it's just single player Ooh. the curiosity they teach at hogwarts will not serve you well <laughs> can bring us What have I done? I kicked your ass. I know that. Let's take a look at our quests. All right, high keep. I have to meet Natty near the Falbarton Castle. I have to attend astronomy class. Ooh, I got astronomy class. I think I'll do that at night. Um, Mount of Reeds. Oh, participate in the broom trial. Okay, yeah. Um, then Arthur's treasure map. I have to finish finding Zenobia's gobstones. Uh, speak to Dorothy Sproddle in Upper Hogsfield. Okay, um, I think my next thing... Yeah, let's go, let's go meet Natty.
Okay, where's the map we have here? So, Falberton Castle. Okay, so it's over... Oh, it's over here. Okay. <clears throat> so, I have to pass Hogsmeade on the way. Hmm. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over there. A sweet broom ride. <laughs> Abandoned long ago, no doubt. All right, Natty. Oh, we just wait for Natty. Oh, looks like this is going to be at night, too. So then, once we get back, we could go back for astronomy. Psst, over here, quietly. I'm right here. <laughs> I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Natty, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow was up to. I followed him to the Hogsheads. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For mm. good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Hmm... Let's just go. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be <coughs> as quiet as possible. Hollow is here, after all. Hmm. work our way. I'll have to go start with up here then. Ooh, more Ashwinder eggs. Rebellious. Hmm. I wonder what that does. You should try the gaming inscription. Yeah, should do that sometime. Nice. 
inscription was actually the reason I found out about you? Really? I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Nassi. Rebellion. Let's see. Yeah, I won't be able to do that from here. Let's try and what happens over here. Dead end. Must be another way in. Hmm. I don't know. Ah. Of course. Accio. I could just crawl through that way. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Oh. Okay. Ah, I got it. I got it. Uh, you put a depulso and then a resto memento. Did she get through? I can't believe I have to write this down, but you moon mines don't listen. Push the gate open. Don't blast it. If I find it blown to pieces again, I swear it'll be the end of you lot. <laughs> uh. There we go. Now it's... Oh, darn Oh, hopefully she's through. I'm not sure if she made it through. Nope, she's still there. What the heck? Dang it. Okay, now I figured it out. I think I figured it out now. Aha. There we go. I 
I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. Okay. Wait, let's, uh... Oh, we do have one. For concealing. Okay. That is the main key point. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. Um, should we... We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Uh oh. <laughs> High wing. Do you know that hippogriff? I think I smacked him off my car. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Blast it! There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. I hope Matty stays out of trouble. I hope so too. Is even that the purpose of that? Safest place to sneak into. <coughs> and when are we bringing this to Dallas? Bye bye. <laughs> Poacher coat, huh? Don't remember catching one of those before. Revenue. I was expecting a little harder than that. Alohomora. more potions. I need all the potions I can get. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. A level 2 lock? Darn. Oh. 
You're going home in a wooden box! Loud as a troll! <laughs> <laughs> Did he die? Wow. Yeah, they backed me in the corner there. Hello, Hamora. Save you from these barbarians. Okay, we got some pub schemes. There we go. A Niffler. Delivery. Four times jobber nulls, be cautious. Three times sneezels. Clever and meaner than they look, watch the claws. Five giant purple toads, always wear gloves when handling. One Thestral. No, you can. No, you a lot can see it. <laughs> no, you a lot can see it. <laughs> Two hippogriffs have a lead on where to get a pair. Zero phoenix, where? Oh. Looking for a phoenix, huh? At least we got a lot more animals to fit into our tr into our vivarium. What's over here? Astrid, keep an eye on my stash, eh? It's yours if I mysteriously disappear. That liar cheated us after all all that was ours. So I took what I could and hid in here. Twenty damned years and treat no better than fools who've been here two blasted weeks, Manfred. Oh, darn it. There we go. All right, we're good. Now oh, we got that stash. Let's go. Go continue our on upstairs. Wait. All right, this way.
Ooh. All right, we're flying now. Flying on it. There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. Ah, this is beautiful. <laughs> we'll be in trouble if they do. This is amazing! It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Right. Find the letter. <laughs> Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough mm. to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now... Tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highway before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. <laughs> Poppy will be relieved to know that Highway is safe. I came to the right person <clears throat> to help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Nice. New item unlocked. Hi highway. Oh. New beast inventory unlocked. When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share. <laughs> Dismount. Oh, that's B. Nice. All right, let's head over. 
Yeah, let's go to the room of requirement then. The Duke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me about the loom. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> oh? Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. A as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Mm. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. Yeah. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. All right. Let's see what I can let out then in this area. Uh, obviously, the puff schemes. Um, I think we'll let let them have the Niffler. Niffler can go out here, too. So, so cute. You can have something to eat. Nice. Alright, now where's that little mole that we saw earlier? Oh, there he is. <clears throat> the Niffler. <laughs> All right, a 
takes care of all the animals in here. Now I gotta release two more, then. Ah, nice. Do, 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 do. <coughs> hmm. Ancestral hair. All right. So now all our, my animals are happy and healthy now. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I'm not doing anything with the loom right now. Alright, uh... I think, uh, today I'm going to wrap up. Um, I don't have any gear in Let's see. Let me go check, double check something before I say anything. Oops, no, not that. Okay, um... Okay, so I'm just looking at some of my, my other past week. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I'm not... Basically, I'm not going to be doing any streams for the rest of the week, except for Thursday. Thursday, I'll be doing a Helldiver stream at 8 p 8.30 p.m. Central. So that's, that's the only stream I'm doing this week, besides that. And then, of course, Star Trek Online on Sunday. So that's what we're looking at this week. Um, I, I understand it's not my usual schedule, but I'm in a transition right now, and I'm very busy this month. So, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be getting all this stuff sorted out by um, by May. But, yeah. Thank you guys for, for watching, and um, I'll see you guys all again soon. Uh, hopefully on Thursday. Until then, this is... Rise Lucas signing out.